Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Yeah, no. All right. Aging Gina but and Mike. Aging but dangerous. Okay. That's what happens at 62 years of marriage, aging and dangerous. Mike, drink. <laughs> we really haven't been drinking, and I have to tell you, we're drinking water. <laughs> That's what it comes to. <laughs> yeah, we, we just wanted it to look good. All right, Mike. So, I mean, every year on our anniversary, until he stopped drinking, and now I'm trying to stop, that all we ever wanted to do on our anniversary was go out for a hamburger and two martinis, right? Right. <clears throat> well, kids, <laughs> 62 years, things change, and things have changed a little bit for us. But, 62, we're having our 62nd wedding anniversary. Tomorrow. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. June Sunday, 9th. June 9th, yeah. June 9th. So, I wanted Mike to come on because we do this every year, and I wanted him to, I just wanted to talk about relationships and, you know, honey, when I think about 62 years, I always think, how can you live with somebody that long and still like them. You know, love is one thing, but like is another. Mm -hmm. And we still do really like each other. Yeah. And yeah. I just, it's like, I mean, it blows me away every year. It's like, how does this happen? I mean, that is a long time. We have known, we met each other in college, and we have, you know, known each other now for 65 years. 65 years. Yeah. And yeah. so the other night we were reminiscing and I said, I don't remember, oh, I know we were watching a movie and the guy got down on his knees and proposed to the girl. And I said, I, I forgot how you proposed to me and you forgot how you proposed. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't, you know, when you get to this age, 84, you don't always remember everything, those mm -hmm. memories. But, oh my gosh, we've had just such a great, run yeah in fact the 62 years have gone so fast that it's just uh, you know <laughs> you can't even believe it all the things that have happened in your life that you know that pass by and you don't you don't think about them but yet you know just like for now when they come back to an anniversary it's kind of like wow this is really great to know that you know how many people live 62 years, let alone be married for 62 years. Yeah, I know. So, so uh, all right, so in college, we met in college. Yes. What did you like about me in college? <laughs> Am I go okay, be careful, be careful. <laughs> well, uh, what did I like? You what know, the first you thing like I didn't me? like is that I tried to get a date with you for three times and you wouldn't go out with me. So, but then after I got a date with you, you were the... You were outstanding as far as, uh, you know, the type of person that I wanted to be around and be with and uh, your enthusiasm, your excitement, your, um, I don't know, just everything about you um, was great to be around and wanted to be around. Wow. Okay, kiss. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> well, what I liked about you was that you were very kind and you were very, you were mm -hmm. such a nice guy where there are a lot of <laughs> slugs in college. And you were so nice. And you were really romantic. You're not so romantic now. But you were, <laughs> <laughs> but you were very romantic no. in college. And, um, but, you know, that romance, you know, th the whole romance thing kind of, kind of, gets lower the older we you get you know it's kind of right. like yeah. that's why that's why it's important to like each other because if you don't like each other and all that other stuff is is going away then boy you're in trouble but okay so well, what, what, make, what makes it that, what makes it that you do that that uh, likes each other so well what do we do that makes yeah. us like <clears throat> each other so well well i just think we're friends, and I think being friends is just really important. You know, if you, you like your friends, and right. you know, you're that somebody said to me the other day, they were just friends with this guy, and it hasn't got any further. And they said, Well, I think it's great to start out as friends because mm -hmm. then if it develops into something else, you've got that friendship. 
Remember that movie was, I remember that movie was out with, I don't know, Goldie Hawn or somebody. And she said, uh, they were, this couple, they were getting divorced and she was crying and they were in a room together. And he says, why are you crying? And she's because I want to talk to my best friend and tell him what's happening, but you're my best friend, <laughs> you know? So, and you and I used to say all the time, remember when we were young, we used to say, if we ever get divorced, we're still going to be best friends. Right. So, um, all right. So well, what well, we went through the, you know, the <clears throat> learning about each other as far as in school and, uh, um, you know, going through, uh, she was, a, she was a sweetheart of my fraternity. She was, um, uh, everything that, um, she is today as far as exciting and enthusiastic. And I think that, uh, you know, liking that, that is the kind of person that I was looking for in the beginning. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that you date and a lot of people that you know, and you think, well, you know, now I know what they're about, but, you know, this lady was outstanding. I mean, uh, she, she was very respectful in her sorority, and everybody on campus liked her, and she was just uh, an all-around enthusiastic, likable person. Well, uh, that was in college. I think I've moved on. I still think I'm <laughs> yeah. likable. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but um, what was I going to say? You know, we keep you and I keep forgetting. You know what we were we're going to say. But um, I, yeah, I think it's you know as we age. You know, both Mike and I are eighty four. Yes. I started to say eighty two. Soon to be eighty five. Five. Yeah. And so <laughs> things are, you know, the, oh, Cheryl, Cheryl Shank is on. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like, you know, as you get older, Mike, I really think one of the things that we're having a little bit of trouble with, even though we're very happily married, is that uh, we kind of lose patience with each other a little bit, don't you think? This whole aging thing is, you know, it's kind of... well. You know, <clears throat> I've been hard of hearing for the last 20 years, and if that, if that doesn't help you lose your patience, I don't know what does, but, uh, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, <clears throat> Gene's gone through some, you know, health issues we both have, and I think that, you know, it kind of makes you a little bit uh, short on your tempers, and um, that makes you lose your patience. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I think that, you know, it's, you got to keep up, and I wrote this down, um, I, I, some of the things that I like to do. Or what makes a good marriage? What, what makes, makes a it, good relationship? What makes it and still, still be uh, happy is you know don't forget to kiss goodnight. <laughs> um, don't forget to say thank you for bringing me the bread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the things that you know that you go on in life that you uh, sometimes forget about, but yet you know you want you want it to stay out there so. The person still recognizes the fact that you're still special in their life. Yeah, honey, that's beautiful. Well, and I, you know, one thing that has been so uh, important to me is, and you know that there's not a lot of guys I could have been married to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of guys that would have accepted me for the way I am. But, you know, the one thing about you is, I mean, you always accepted me for who I am. Because I've always been the same, right? Ever since day one. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people I've never changed. You know, I've always been the same. And you have, you know, let me go out there. If I want to, you know, put on a crazy big hat. If I want to do, you know, what kind of makeup I put on. I can put on gobs of jewelry. I can carry a crazy ass ba handbag. I can do any of that stuff. And you never, ever judge me. You have mm. always let me be who I am. And right. if that hadn't have happened, we wouldn't be married, I know, because <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to put up with me and I wouldn't have been able to, you know, live with you, you know. So, um, but that's what's so important is that there's so much give and take. And that's another thing, Mike, is that I think what you and I have always said that, you know, where you're strong, I'm weak and I need you and where I'm strong you you need you know you need me and I'm kind of more your emotional 
um, help you emotionally and you help me so much you know physically and figuring mm -hmm. things out and mm -hmm. doing things so it's very uh, it's we both said that it's really has to be a two-way street uh, well and you know I think that <clears throat> carrying that a little bit further is a, you know a two-way street is that we both appreciate uh, and uh, talking to each other about situations and um, understanding each other on these under on, on these or these chains, subjects, yeah. objects and things like that. Um, you know, Jean says, "Well, you know, uh, she's always talked to me and made me listen to her idea, and um, that's always you know has helped me understand things and." not be just one to shut it off and go away because, uh, you know, she understands both sides of the story. So uh, I think that's been one of the big things as far as helped us, you know, keep, for, keep going forward because she has great ideas. She has a lot of empathy as far as things are happening and, um, you know, just be part of it and understand it. Yeah, well, both of us do that. And um, all right, so we, we said, I mean, we just come on here like, I said to Mike, we got to do a, a, a we got to do a, uh, you know, wedding anniversary tape, you know, and he's like, okay, what am I going to say? I'm like, I don't know. We just play it by ear. But um, I and think. What am I going to drink? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For the ones of you that are getting on here later, we're drinking water in our martini glasses. It's like we always had said on our anniversary that all we wanted when we went out to dinner was a hamburger and two martinis. We even went to Chicago uh, one time, and our, our kids in Chicago, our daughter and her husband and everything, were wanted to take us out to a really nice dinner and spend all this money. And Mike and I said, no, all we want is a hamburger and two martinis. Well, he stopped drinking a year ago, and I'm trying to really control it, so we're drinking water in our martini glasses. I guess that's what age does to you, I guess. But anyway, all right. So how people stay, um, it, you know, and what makes a good relationship. And we were talking about that. And of course, we both absolutely agree 100% that the first one is respect. Mm -hmm. Really respect <clears throat> each other. Uh, and then what's one for you? you know, I think compatibility is, you know, being compatible with, Liking the same things. Yeah, liking the same things and um, doing doing it things together and that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I forget who that is. Okay, I haven't had time to read the, the messages, but some of them are good. Well, um, yeah, and being compatible, I said, you know, if you're not compatible, then that's when the arguments start. Because, I mean, if... Mike and I have very contemporary... Did you read that? Yeah. I get, <laughs> 40 yeah, years. Yeah. Um, we get very... Um, we have the same taste. You know, it's like uh, we have very contemporary furniture. And if we had like, you know, like if he liked early American furniture and I, and I liked, early, you know, contemporary, then, you know, there'd be a problem. We'd probably, you know, put your chin down. And, uh, but... Uh, we, we're very compatible. We, we agree on 98% of the stuff we like. So, I mean, that's mm -hmm. really big. And then, of course, we talked about, you know, the one about liking each other. It's just really important to like each other. And, um, and that's, you know, we definitely like each other. <laughs> yep. So we're going to make it. We're going to make it. My dad lived to be 105. So I figure we got a good 20 years left, honey. Good <laughs> 20 years. So mm -hmm. anyway... We didn't mean to bore you, but thanks for listening. And uh, and I know that Mike had said earlier, you know, just some of the advice was just try to be happy. Try to put some energy into that relationship as you grow old together and just try to be happy. Don't let things interfere and get mad at each other. Mm -hmm. And That's for sure. And definitely don't go... Like the, that old saying, don't go to Cheryl bed. Shank. I know, Cheryl is <laughs> on here. And she loves us. Well. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thank you for listening on a Friday afternoon. Don't forget, join 
Jean's Inner Circle. We're going to have some good things coming up, some good workshops, and we have a book club, and it's really exciting. We're going to, uh, we just started a week ago, and so we're, we're, just gearing up for a lot of things, so join. Mika? Can I go get Mika? Oh, Mike wants to go get Mika. But, well, you know, part of our family. He loves Mika. But anyway, get, go to agingbutdangerous.com and you can join the inner circle there. I really need some support from you guys, okay? It's only $10 a month, and um, I really would love your support. Can you get her? She's not no. <laughs> Mike wanted to show you our dog. Uh, little Mika, she's seven pounds. She's a little um, Mika. Um, she's a little uh, teddy bear. She's a Shih Tzu, Shih Tzu and Bichon mix. So, and he just loves her to pieces, and of course, so do I. She sleeps with us. All right, guys. And, and she's she's a female, and she has a, a wonderful mind of her own, as yeah. I'm, I'm used to. And yeah. when I say. Let's go for a walk. If she doesn't want to go for a walk, she runs into the bed. Yeah. So. And that's that's where she is now. She just yeah. doesn't want to be here. So, yeah. Um, okay. We'll have to catch her next time. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for celebrating with yeah. us. And uh, I will see you on Monday morning. Kisses. Kisses. <laughs>